Now, which is the door, though? Oops. I see ya. And for some reason, folks, whenever I get rid of all my radiation altogether, it keeps going to like minus 600. Although it isn't minus 600, it's like at zero. You'll see if I actually get any radiation. No, don't come any closer, please. Fuzz. Discovered anyway. I'm going to have to do this the hard way. Hide the observation device inside. Done. Now we can't usually open this door, but if you've got a repair of 95, then you can do it. Oh. Never mind. I thought I had high enough. Skills repair. Ah, right. I need to put my utility jacket on. Utility jumpsuit. Unlocked. Look, just leave me alone for a minute, will you? Have I got any medex? Or that thing that gives you resistance? Look, buzz off for a minute. I'm just trying to loot the place. Oh, you fuzzy fuzz fuzz. Look, I'm just trying to loot things. I'm not allowed to hurt you, so you're very lucky. Just trust me, you'd be dead by now. Off, will ya? Oh, there's two now. I'm gonna have to make a dash here, I think. Yeah. Ah, but I'm trapped. Let me out, you fools. See what I mean? This place is a lot easier if you actually don't hurt anything. And if you come here later, I mean. Once you've cleared it out. Now, can I quickly fast travel? Yes, I can. Now, I should be able to clear up a second part of this quest now. Now, the next part is... The next part is... I forget now. Let's go to the Anchorage Memorial. Ah, I know what it is. You've got to get a, your health under 50%. And the optional part of that is to get a crippled limb. And I don't think I've got a crippled limb just yet. No, that arm is nearly crippled though. Nearly. Easiest place I know how to get a crippled limb is to... do jumps off here. Eventually, you should survive and cripple something. Okay. Did that say local cult? It's a bit harsh to say that about the children of the atom. No, didn't crip didn't manage to cripple anything. Okay, you can kill yourself like that as well, which isn't advisable. Oh! Come on, did that crit... How can that not cripple something? See, then I jump too far. But watch, every time I jump too far and get the death... I need to time this. See, whenever I do get the death... I actually managed to cripple myself before I die. Darn it. Okay, well, we're going to do this a different way. Another good way of doing it is with landmines. Stand on top of one 
And... Anything crippled? Nope. Let's try it again. Anything crippled? No? No. Come on. No! Oh, come on, man. Is anything even close to being... Ah, right. That arm's nearly crippled, so we are getting there. That was a rubbish one, Richard. Come on. Stop trying to cripple yourself and cripple yourself. Yes, I'm crippled. Completed. There's no point going to see Mari yet, because she's closed. Right, now we shall go see the lovely Moira. I have to admit, she is growing on me a very little bit. Only a tiny bit, though. I still find her very irritating, but... She's not so bad. So, are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king? Or priest? Priest? Or some sort of scaly community center? Oh, God. I slip the observer in with the eggs and they're none the wiser. That's what she said. I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. But not you. You're the best research assistant ever. I am. This is true. I've been getting a good signal. But what do you think about them from your first-hand observations of them? There we go. Now we need to answer with the strength option. They don't seem to fight each other, so no struggle for leadership. Oh, really? Maybe their leader figures are bred. Sort of like ant queens. I wonder if relocating a Mirelurk king would prompt the others to move. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. Consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these. So you can continue to avoid them in the future. Now, she does give us quite a good item, actually. She gives us the Shady Hat, which has a Perception plus one and a Sneak of plus five, I think, which is kind of handy. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I need it to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. I hesitate to ask, but I'll need to examine the effects of serious physical trauma. I wouldn't ask if I couldn't fix you up afterwards, of course. Oh, well, we've done the physical trauma one. for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Physical trauma, please. Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. I certainly so if can. if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? I don't know if you've realized, but I'm already pretty badly hurt. Now, we could answer with that one, which is, again, a skip. We could skip through it, but we're not going to. There's my brave research assistant. Go out and get bashed up for the good of mankind. Just make sure you stay alive and get back here. That's important. I can't stress that enough. Let's talk about this serious injury. Now, is it going to update straight away? I think it should. It doesn't seem to want to. Well, how do you feel? Oh, don't think of it as crippling yourself for me. Think of it as getting... Free treatment when you eventually end up getting yourself hurt. Right, okay, so I've got to leave the conversation and come back into it, I think. Let's see if it updates. 
done. Let's double check in. Let's see if she well, says the right how thing. how do you feel? This really hurts. Oh, I know it does, dear. But it's for a good cause. I Don't call not me dear. So much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. Okay. Um, endurance. I hardly even feel pain anymore. Honestly. Deadened nerves? That's probably a bad sign, you know. Like nervous system degradation type of bad. Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. So get Ugh. your hands off me, How Moira. How you be walking around like this? Okay. I even stitched a little smiley face in you. You better not do. your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. That is quite a good item, you know, actually, folks, that. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. Hmm, that sounds easy enough. I can do that for you. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties. But for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. And she is right. There are a lot down there. The info you're bringing back is great. Looking forward to more. The only thing is, this is quite a frustrating quest. This is actually why I didn't bring Dog Meat and Lucy. <sighs> The annoying thing is, right, with this, folks, is that even when we go down to the tepid sewers, which is very close to the Anchorage Memorial, the issue is that, for one, if you've got companions, they will attack the more rats on sight, obviously. What are rod roaches doing here? Why am I getting attacked here? Oh, there you are. God, that's such a lovely noise when they explode. It sounds easy, this one, folks. It honestly does. That, like, just go down here, hit things with a stick, and you're done. Well, unfortunately, it ain't that easy. Because, and why the... Where the fuzz are the tepid sewers? Oh, my alerts, I'm not fighting them. Oh, they've seen me as well. Or oh, have they? No, it's those centaurs spitting at me. Stupid stormtrooper accuracy. Learn to aim. Nice try. Oh, miss again. Try better. Come on, come on, come on. Whee! 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 Oh, and he misses. Come on, try it again. Ooh. Oh, you, all right, you got me. You got me, that was a good shot. Oh, is that my alert going to go fight him for me? Is he? What's he doing? What is that my alert doing over there? I think he's actually trying to get to me, but I don't think he knows how to get across. I oh, you missed again. 